new vampiric puppies and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade. Sorry about the audio issues last time. Just having, like, I didn't have a lot of time to record and there was a leaf blower outside and I also had the volume up too high. There was the echo. But we're gonna not have those things be a problem today. Tonight, today, what? Is that the sun? Is that the moon? I don't know. Not even a knock? I could have been undressing. And who knows what I would have had to do to you. You're here to see Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria, aren't you? Yeah, that's the one. That's that's the lady. So I, I you know, I was hoping I'd run into you. Really? Do I often pogo stick through your thoughts wearing nothing but a smile? Be honest. Or don't. Uh, e Maybe. I, I, need, I need to see Therese. Therese is out making a show of how well her lips fit on the pants seat of the Camarilla. Did you happen to find her a chastity belt or something? <laughs> That's a good one, because three quarters of your boobs are visible, but I I digress. I'd rather discuss this with Therese. Actually, I'll, let's be polite. I need to give something to Therese from the hotel. Ooh. <laughs> Can I see it? Okay, so you do not want to give this to Jeanette. Just don't do it. I'm not just some silly doll, you know. All my life, my sisters made me out to be a joke. She told you I was an embarrassment, didn't she? That I couldn't tie my shoes, let alone hold on to something for her. Is that it? Yeah, you <laughs> you gotta be polite, but you gotta be assertive. Do not give her the locket. She's always belittling me. She's the smart one. She's the favorite. She's the successful one. Well, that's not fair. I'm not a fool. This club's success is just as much my doing as it is hers. Your club's bed success. Mm. All right. I understand, but I still can't give it to you. Let me tell you what happens if you give Jeanette the locket. She's like, oh, thank you so much. I'm going to have sex with you. And then she goes and throws the locket in the ocean. And just and Therese gets super pissed, so don't do that. Do you understand what it's like to have your own flesh and blood ripping you apart on a daily basis for two lifetimes? Can you? I'm sure I will. I'm sorry to hear that, Jeanette, but I really need to give it to Therese. Fine. You hold on to it. Hmm, since you're so willing, you can brave that big spooky place for my darling sister. How about doing a teensy tiny favor for little troubled me? No, I mean, yeah, sure, okay. Uh, what would put a smile on that face? Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a charity event being organized there. Lots of influential Santa Monicans slithering in for token appearances. But there's one thing they don't know. The whole event's been set up by a kindred trying to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the neck. What do I do? <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this mallet. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught, and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? Buy yourself something velvet. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, what I want to do is say, first off, I'm not going to steal charity it's money. what you think. Every pretty penny dropped in that box is going right into some other kindred's purse. You'd be cooking from a dirty steal. There we go. Alright, so, I'll do it. Then you'll call off the few, right? I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. Then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up. I can only amuse myself for so long. Uh, in your endo. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and there was something about the paintings. Hmm, what was it? Okay. Yeah, she's leaving something pretty important oh, now. But, basically, the reason I asked her about the charity money is because if you steal the charity money without asking her what, like, without saying, I'm not going to steal charity money, then you get humanity loss if you steal it. But if you ask her about it, like what it actually is, then you don't get a humanity loss for stealing it. So there's that. Not like humanity is incredibly important in this game, especially if you know where to get the points. You can just sort of, you know, lose one, one point occasionally without it being a big deal. But what else? So, ooh, I'm sorry about not being, like, I want this playthrough to be very efficient because I feel like I have the ability to make it efficient. So what I what I started doing <coughs> was 
I started a an alternate Nosferatu playthrough on the side. Not gonna record that one because it's not actually. I didn't think it would be fun. It's not fun, but but like I'm gonna use that to help remember exactly what to do with the quests in the game, what order to do them in, sort of how to get all the ones in a certain area turned in all at once and all, all that kind of thing. So don't don't try picking that. What we want to do is go talk to this lovely large fellow here because he is basically the best character in the game. So what's up? Oh, you. So, once again, persuasion or domination. I'm going to go with persuasion because this guy, I'm not going to say his name because we'll find out later, but it's hilarious. So, didn't you get, wait, sorry, didn't you get the call? Eh? What call are you talking about there, G? One of the artists pissed off the director, so I'm to pull their art from the show. And who might you be then, G? I'm the doctor. God damn it, I'm not, I'm not the doctor here. Okay. I'm the museum director's assistant. Think you can let me in? Yeah? Okay, well, take one look at you. I'd say there's a lot of money in that line of work. Me, and security in my blood. Father, father's father, and six brothers. I mean, yeah, we're all real keen on upholding the law, like a family of Magnum P.I. <laughs> That's great, but I also have a job but, to do. Uh, Oh, you're right, just so you have it. Um, I'd expect it better file a 40 feet, but 40, 45B as well, you know, just so you have it. Yeah, 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 that's right. I mean, but who wouldn't file a 45B? Huh? <laughs> everyone knows about 45B. Oh. Anyway, uh, go ahead on in and uh, you have yourself a nice night. You too, homie. I'll, I'll catch you later. We're going to see that guy later, and he's, he's amazing. He's my best friend. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so. I did start the Nosferatu playthrough, which uh, I don't like it so far. Maybe it'll get better. I'm still in Santa Monica, but it'll help me actually figure out the proper order to do things in. Now, here's a charity box. Take that. If you talk to Jeanette, if you ask her about what it is, you won't get the humanity boss, like I said. And also, while I'm here, I want to put another point of strength, and that's going to become apparent in just a second. That's why I'm doing that. But here we have like an interesting little puzzle, I think. This is the alleyway door that you, that you could have sneaked by that officer. Or sorry, you could have sneaked by the officer and gone in through the alleyway and done that. But I, I had to talk to him. So we've got four paintings here. We've got Cain meets Lilith. We've got Cain slays Abel. We've got Cain spurns Lilith. And we've got Cain cursed by God. So what you want to do is you actually want to slash these paintings in a certain order. Because otherwise you will... Hey. Oh, I'm supposed to use the knife. Because otherwise, you, I believe you actually take damage, which is, you know, strange. But I'm going to do Cain Slays Abel, Cain Cursed by God, Cain Meets Lilith, and and Cain Spurns Lilith. And then, once you do that, ooh, we have an interest, oh, I should have, okay, whatever. So there's, there's a little something weird going on here, as you can tell. we got a pool of blood sort of funneling into the center of the room, and it's a Blood Guardian. Is actually sort of annoying. So we're going to put on Fortitude and Shin Gunto is really fast. So as opposed to the other stupid weapons. Like, I don't know what was going on with the weapons before, but they just like were super slow in attacking. But the Shin Gunto is always very fast. It's got really cool stealth kill animation too. But we've got Fortitude on to increase our defense. We did put that extra point into melee. So no problem. And we got three experience from that too. So that's all there is from that. Now we can go go back and talk to Jeanette slash Therese. Whoever is there. Whichever set of boobs is there. I mean, come on. <laughs> just kidding. They're way more interesting than just being a pulling pair of boobs. Believe me on that one. Just You gotta trust me on that one. So other things we need to do, actually... Oh, I forgot to check about the skill books. Whatever. It's fine. What I want to do is... What I, the reason, oh, actually, hello, yes, the reason, oh, you're not, you're not, uh, damn animations, right, so the reason I wasn't able to get the money from LaCroix, La, LaCroix in my mailbox is because I was supposed to actually put the werewolf blood into my mailbox, and then he'll, 
he'll send you your money the next time you come back here, I believe. So, where will blood? Gotta find it. Where is it? Did I did I already send it? I'm not entirely sure. Cause this is the blue blood. Did I send it? And I forgot. Cause it's been a few days. Um, I don't remember. Let's see. <laughs> that totally might have. That totally might be what happened. Wait. I, oh yeah, the crossbows. Right. Yeah. I don't see the werewolf blood. Strange. Okay. Well, I guess I already sent it. I suppose you have retrieved. Put it. In. No, it says put it. In. Okay, we're gonna deal with that later because I'm incompetent. <laughs> but it's not my menu. I don't know where it went. Because it says I retrieved it, but did I sell it? I hope I didn't sell it to like the guy on the beach or something. That would be stupid. That would be very very stupid. I don't know. We'll we'll find out later. I'll figure some things out, but. Yeah, so I've had a pretty productive day so far. I'm still trying to figure out... Wait, am I going the right way? I wasn't really paying attention. Asylum. No. Yes, okay. So, I'm still in the process of transferring schools and moving. So, I just sent in my AP test scores from three years ago. And I also applied for summer classes at the college. And I looked at some of the list of the clubs that are over at Cinnabarber, and there's some cool ones. There's like a baking club that I want to join, there's a cooking one, there is a longboarding one that I actually am sort of interested in. There's one called Life of the Party, which teaches you how to not be an idiot at a party, but still have fun. You, what were you thinking? I, uh, sex? Uh, the museum. That was my event. Oh. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Y yes Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture. But nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others. But how dare you! Uh, I, I didn't say... You claimed you did it for her. But let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the food. <sighs> right, thanks. I have the item from the Ocean House, too. Excellent. I'll take that. However, if there's only one problem... If Tongue gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. Don't you do it, bitch. Fine. You're Santa Monica's most powerful kindred, I'd be happy to. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin cheeks. <laughs> she took them quite Ooh, seriously and is avoiding me. I went to meet with her and explained that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile, but I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. Okay. The Baron of Santa Monica wants her sister back. I will get her sister back. For all back. her unwholesome diversions and irritating disruptions, I should be less tolerant of her. She is my sister, however. And I suppose I'm obligated to forgive her her trespasses. I did sire her after all. Please, be quick about it. That's an interesting line. I did sire her, she says. And she did, in a way. And you'll see in about... Actually, oh, it's going to be this set, isn't it? You'll see in the next part, I think. Why? Because you got to notice there's something fishy going on with the two sisters here. Some, I don't know, some off. And we're going to see exactly what that is in the next part. And I'm not saying we're going to finish the part off yet. I'm just saying, as far as time constraints go, it'll be right after this. Right after the diner here. So we're going to go talk to Jeanette, and they're going to make up, and 